And so the last two years, we've done the Absurdity Awards, where we go through our questions of the year and um, kind of pick a bunch of categories about, like, deadliest question, you know, most mathy answer, hardest this, that, and we made kind of a year in review, almost like a year-long behind-the-scenes episode, where we kind of just went back and talked about a lot of our old episodes. And that's kind of the problem. Yeah, and I can't imagine that anybody actually really wants to listen to that for as long as we talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a way to highlight, like, the best parts of the year, I guess, in our minds. Yeah, the the idea behind it originally was if someone saw this episode, if someone listened to the year-end episode, they'd have a jumping off point to like kind of get a flavor of a lot of what was going on and be able to go back and be like, oh, they did one on this thing that I find interesting and be able to jump back to that episode. The problem is it, it's I think it's only entertaining if you've been if you're pretty enfranchised, if you listen to a lot of the episodes. And if you haven't, it's not very interesting, in which case you're not going to listen to it all the way through to find out what all the different interesting episodes are. So it doesn't serve either purpose particularly well. Yeah. And then just like the format of the episode in general, I think it was a little bland. Mm hmm. Yeah. Also, probably the sad, the sad, the, and, and the and the bit sad thing is that you know we're like, oh, we voted for these, but the people voting was me, Chris, and Ben. Yeah. Um, we didn't actually, we don't actually have, haven't had enough listenership to create an actual poll and vote and get you know results for actually doing an award show of what the you know the listeners enjoyed because that's a bit different. If the listeners were voting, that's a different animal. So what we wanted to do, and what we're working on, what we're, what kind of workshop right now is replacing the award show with something else with the primary goals being something that we can do at year's end to both be entertaining and kind of turn people on to other episodes of the show they might like yeah i think that's the the main goal of the episode is to still highlight the best parts of the year and make it accessible to people that don't listen to our show normally yeah it, it definitely 100 percent has to stand in its own right because no matter what it, the first episode someone listens like the episode any episode could be the first episode someone listens to yeah so with that said the idea that we've been working on very briefly we decided we're going to have the main discussion about the pros and cons here is doing an episode where we take a bunch of hypotheticals that we had done in the previous year and combining them into one kind of like super hypothetical like what if the earth was flat and this round was smooth and gravity was halved and nobody could remember anything and just kind of like like a frankenstein episode oh yeah yeah we had talked about doing one of these for um for a halloween, for halloween. Episode once yeah that was a concept for halloween but then we decided that it was like the structure of the episode is halloweeny but the actual theme of the episode would not be halloweeny so we we did shift for the halloween episode but i think if it fits better for this what we're thinking to replace the absurdities. Right. So the thing, the, the way I see it going is basically you have this crazy thing where all these different bits are interacting with each other and you can reference the, the main takeaways from the individual episodes without going into the whole history and math of things and kind of see what additional things come out of it if you just combine this word salad of hypotheticals. I think it's going to be tricky to do. Um, definitely picking the ones that we're going to select. I think we're all going to select our own individual set of ooh, three to five. I, I think it's going to depend. So it's going to depend on which ones you want to do, right? Because I feel like if there's ones you could do, they'd be fine with just two. Where yeah. there's like an interesting enough combination where two is okay. I think it entirely depends on just which, which questions you pick exactly. Yeah. Like if they, they have to thematically all fit together, obviously, but... Yeah, there are some that are more interesting than others that could only, you could only, you could get away with only using two. Yeah, I, that said, I, two seems a little tame to me. I think we should shoot for three. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends, I think. It depends on how big the questions that you're picking are, because some of them are like, like very, they have very big consequences. I think we should, I, I think, considering we only are, you know, if this becomes our new format, we're only doing it once a year. I don't mind this being a bit of a pain to do and figure out. That was a preview clip from our Patreon-exclusive behind-the-scenes episode. For the full episode, click on the link in the description.